Hi guys, so I was down at the skate park recently with my kids and I came across some ramps and I thought, well, this would actually be a really nice IA. So what I'm going to do in this video is just going to show you how we can use GeoGebra to model different skateboard ramps. And obviously this can be used for anything where you have a photo, you can use these skills. So even if you've no interest in skateboarding whatsoever, and what I'm going to show you in this video is going to be quite useful, but for sure, there's, if you're into skateboarding, this is such a nice IA, um, such a nice idea because you can find gradients of ramps. This one is obviously a, a straight, a straight line that you're going to find the gradient of a straight line. But here you can find the derivatives and use calculus to find the gradients of more complicated ramps um, using calculus. So um, definitely worth um, doing a video on this. As always, guys, could you please support? the channel by liking the video, subscribing, turning on the no notifications, all that. And if you really, really want to support me, click the link below to my website, Mr. Flynn IB, to check out all my videos. Okay, so let's get going. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra.org to begin with, and then go to Geo GeoGebra Classic. This is my favorite um, of the different GeoGebra calculators, GeoGebra Classic. Now here, when I have a photo, so I have a photo here, I literally just drag in the photo like this, and it gives me a photo. Now, basically guys, everything I'm gonna do today, I want you to do it more accurately. I'm gonna try and get everything done in like 15 minutes. You have, I don't know, you have maybe months to do this. So take your time, make sure everything is accurate. So I'm gonna not be as quick. Um, or sorry, I'm going to be way less accurate than you and way more quick when I do it. So when you get a photo, you can move the photo around like this um, and you can make it bigger or smaller like this. Now, what I haven't done is measured these ramps. So that's certainly something you want to do is measure the distance from either here to here or here to here or something where you can scale the, the ramp. So when I move this, I mean, it changes the size and moves the the ramp, but it keeps the scale. So as long as you have it to scale, let's say, for example, this whole thing was, I don't know, let's say from, from the top of the ramp to here, the horizontal distance was, was four meters. Say you measure that, then I want this to fit. I want the start to be here and the end to be at four. So something like this. Now you, you might be thinking, hang on, how you even, I can't even see the, the grid here. And yeah, that's an issue. So what we have to do is make sure you've clicked on the photo like this. And then here, click this, click the wheel, color, and then the opacity, you bring it down like this and you can kind of see through it then. So it's gonna be easier to, to work with. You can obviously zoom in. Um, and we wanna get this exactly at four. That's actually not too bad. Let's make it a little bit bigger like this. Um, okay, something like this. Again, you are going to be more accurate than me. Maybe just move that down a bit. Okay, you can then go back to the color. Um, hang on, I need to click this again. Go back to this color here and make it, I don't know, if you want to increase it a bit so you can see it more clearly. Um, keep the colors there like that. Then go to basic and click background image. Now, once you click this, you essentially, the, the image is now in the background. You can't do anything with it. So make sure it is perfectly to scale when you do that. Okay, so here I have my image like this. Okay, let's close this thing. Okay, now what I want to do is I'd like to just draw a straight line from here to here. So I'm going to say AX, or you can say Y equals Y equals AX, or MX plus C if you want, but I'm just going to do AX plus B. Press enter, and you get these sliders for the parameters A and B. So this is your AX plus B, it's F, and I can move these around to make it fit. So actually that seems, that seems quite nice negative 0 0.4, move this up a bit, 
that's pretty close but again as I say guys you are going to be way more accurate than me now I'll show you a few little things if you click the 5 here you can change um, from negative 5 to 5 you can make it a lot bigger and you can make the step smaller so it's going up in steps of 0.1 let's make it 0 0.01 and now I can you can actually press play here and it'll just move it along like this let's say I want something like this okay now once you kind of get the hang of it, you can actually change this. So maybe you can look in, where is it actually touching the y-axis? Well, it's actually 1.5. Let's make that 1.5. Nice. But I think I need to change this a little bit. And you can talk about all these things you're doing. Um, let's make it 0.42. That's pretty good. So all these things you're doing, you can talk about it as you write your IA and put little screenshots up there. That's your that's your ramp. Now right at the bottom here, it seems to actually look which makes sense that it doesn't just go straight down. And look, there's obviously a this isn't a perfect fit at all because of this. But again, more things to talk about. And then here, clearly there's it changes. It's not a perfectly straight line for obvious reasons. You don't want the skateboard to just hit the ground right at this angle here, so it kind of smooths out a bit. You could draw another line here, things like that. Um, let me just come out a bit. Let's say that's it. You can change the domain of the function by clicking the function, and then this thing here, and the f it says function f start value zero, end value. I don't know, it looks like 3.6 or something like that, 3.6. And then it gives me this G, which is actually a green curve. I can't really see it. But if I click this, it gets rid of the black curve or the black straight line. And there, there I have it. That is my ramp modeled. Now, as, as I said, you might want to do this from here to here, and then you draw another line just from here to here. And then you can find the gradient of this. You can find the gradient of this. Um, talk about what kind of a ramp it is, etc., etc. And that's kind of maybe that might be your introduction to the whole thing. Then I'm going to close this. Let's do a new one. More interestingly, then you can look at a more complicated ramp. And certainly for standard level, this will be more you'll get more uh, more mathematics more for your use of mathematics here and it'll be a, it'll be a better IA if you have a ramp that's curved and that, that it was that curved ramp that made me think yeah that'd be great because by getting the derivative of it you can get the gradient to different points you can actually compare the gradient of this to the gradient of the of the other ramp so let me just do the same thing I did there click this this and um, color down a bit let's move this a little bit up here Again, let's just go with 0 to 4. But again, guys, you are doing it way more accurately than me. You're measuring this properly, and you're fitting it uh, more exactly. Now, a few things you can look at here. I actually did a bit of research on um, ramps, because uh, I was thinking, what is this? What kind of model is it? And this is part of your IA. you got to think and talk about in your IA what kind of a function would this, how can I model this? Is it a parabola? Is it an exponential function? Or is it a circle? And I actually found out from looking at, I think it was actually on Wikipedia that it said, a lot of ramps are just quarter circles like this, like in a half pipe, a quarter circle, because that's the easier one to construct, but it's actually better if you have a parabola and then a kind of a, a straight line that goes up here like this. But, Certainly, there's different ways to to look at it. So let's just, let's try the parabola. So imagine I said y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Now, when you write that, the a h and k, it automatically gives you hmm, didn't give me for a. Maybe I need to do this times okay there. So now I have my sliders for a h and k. Um, maybe this h is going to be right on four. Let's put Let's put h right on 4. And let's bring k. Let's bring k, well, down to 0, actually, I think. 
and then we can move this one something like this right so you can see this right you can it fits quite nicely here and here but if you zoom in enough and again this is really good for reflecting in your IA if you actually zoom into here you can see that's not a good fit this isn't a parabola now maybe I could have moved it over a bit more let's move this um, let's move this H a little bit over there and then I don't know maybe that's a better fit let's do zero point I don't know, one two you still I'm gonna struggle to fit it on here so it's not a parabola so we get rid of this let's delete this delete 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 right let's say maybe it's an exponential function a times or y equals a times e to the power of let's say b times x and let's change this around like this move this a bit here I don't know move this a bit more there okay that actually looks really nice better for sure um and then you can get the derivative of this and find the gradient find how steep is this and i don't know your aim you can have lots of different names maybe your aim is which ramp should i i'm just beginning skateboarding which ramp should i go on um go on to begin with you can also guys um i'm not, I'm not going to do it in this video but you could actually model this with a circle um and turn the circle because you'll have a relation turn the circle into a function and then get the derivative of that function that's possibly more for a higher level but even a very good standard level i could do that you could look at the you could look at the equation of a circle um there's one other kind of way to do it guys i'll, I'll just show you very quickly delete this delete this you can add in points so you can get points again i'm going to keep repeating myself guys this is how if you see the home page of my website with the Burj Al Arab this is how I do it I get points along like this and then you actually fit the curve so you can fit an exponential curve onto a list of points now, I actually need to make this list of points I make a list of points by clicking this thing here and I just put a square over it and I get this list of points and it's called L1 so if I just do this fit exponential L1 Oops, I didn't do it, didn't like that. Let me delete that. So fit exponential L1 like this. Hmm, still doesn't like it. Fit. Um, let's go with a growth function L1. Hmm, still doesn't like this. Okay, I think the problem is because I put this right on actually put this point on zero let me get rid of this point and um, put in another point let's put it here and let's do another list of points like this list of points l1 let's do fit exponential l1 okay better right so it's actually fit here now they're one thing they're really really big on and i think i'll do another i'll do another video on this um in the future they're really big on talking about the goodness of fit how good is that fit on those points and we can talk about that using using um uh least square regression and things like that and i'll talk about that more in the next video but for sure that's not a perfect fit but it's not bad and um, final thing i'll say guys is you can look i actually decided to just for the fun of it and this could even be your aim i made my own I made my own ramp. So here, I've, I've started off with, obviously, this is just a horizontal line. This is an exponential function here, then a horizontal line, then another, well, a straight line with a negative gradient, horizontal line, and then this is actually a quarter circle here. So that might actually be your aim to, to I don't know, make your own skateboard ramp or part of the ramp in in the in the skate park or whatever it just happens to be and um, your aim could also be what like the what i really want people to do here is if you are doing an ie like this is once you get this function so this is your function here you can then get the derivative 
of the function to find the gradient because I think one of the big things, the most important parts of ramps and skateboarding is the gradient. What is the gradient at different points? Um, because obviously the steeper the gradient, the the faster the ramp is going to be. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you, hopefully you learned something there. As I said, it doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be a skateboarding ramp or anything like that to, f to do this. This is about fitting curves onto, um, onto a photo. Okay, that's it, guys. I will see you hopefully soon for my next video.